Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope your weekend's starting off good for you. It's doing okay for me. I have no complaints. And today is the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. And uh, it's about 6.15 a.m. here in Central Texas, USA. And I'm trying to get to the site. Anyway, uh, I live in a Casita RV, a full-time RV. 84 square feet of interior space, plenty for me. And um, anyway, I want to give a shout out to Harold. Happy birthday, Harold. <laughs> he left a comment. Anyway, happy birthday, Harold. Hope you have many more and enjoy your life and enjoy your weekend. Bake you a cake and enjoy your life. But anyway, what else can I tell you? Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 36. You know, that's, is that cool for this time of the year? I guess not. It's October. It's the high today is supposed to be 58. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte, it's currently 34. With a high of 44. Yeah, they've had quite a bit of snow there. A little unusual for them. But anyway, uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, today for a video later, instead of doing, I've got some RV videos left from the RV show in Round Rock, Texas, but I'm going to do today instead of, well, I might do an RV and this, but I went by a tiny home dealership here in Kingsland, Texas, and uh, I did a video of a tiny home, which is basically a park model RV, and I'll do, I did three of them, and I'll do one of those today and see how that one goes, but anyway. Just thought I'd tell you, but introduce everyone. Okay, here we go. This is Trenton Clump. That's an it. That's a little travel trailer. That's a teddy bear with my name on it. That's Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons. That's Betty Boop, and that is a little sticker behind them that says Native Texan with a jalapeno on it. This is a thousand yen note, and that's a five euro note. And below the note, that is a two dollar bill or two two dollar bills. And this is a frugal RV gal sticker so check her channel out frugal rv gal and that is mr bojangles those are organic bananas right in there that is olive oil's bra that's an ever dry dehumidifier that helps a little bit that smiling face now has a nose ears and hair and i like that better and this is says uh, life is better in a casita and for me it really is <clears throat> hey google convert 1,000 yen to dollars. 1,000 Japanese yen equals nine dollars and 35 cents. Hey Google, convert five euros to U.S. dollars. Five euros equals five dollars <clears throat> and 49 cents. Okay, how about that guys? We didn't know that, did we? Did we know that? Hey Google, tell us a money joke. How do you know when the moon is totally broke? It's down to its last quarter. Not too shabby. They're not biggies, okay guys? Good, how can I help you? I have no clue. That's okay, let me know if I can help with anything. All right, I will. This thing's getting smarter, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it does. It gets smarter and smarter and smarter. I still got I still got to get the comments. I'm working on that. I'm getting there, guys. But anyway, yeah, it's a. Uh, oh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? In Kingsland right now, it's <clears throat> 70. Yeah, that's uh, eight miles from where I am here at my home base. And uh, what else? Hey Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? The temperature in Capitan right now is 53. With a high of 76, and the high here is going to be in the mid-90s. But anyway, having said that, moving right along, uh, I got one person in, trapped in the spam folder. Let me get them out right quick. Well, it's old Scotty. What are you doing in the spam folder, boy? Get out of there. And we got him out. Now he, he's out of purgatory. Okay, now we got a comment here from Rather Be Fishing. Hello, Rather Be Fishing. This is my Rusty Ranger T-shirt. That is that that really looks like a drill sergeant, doesn't it? God Almighty! Whoop! Square jawed, and brick. Anyway, rather be fishing on the A-liner. Says I, 
Really wanted one about 10 years ago, but heard they leaked after being on the road for a while. Probably fixed that too. Too expensive anyway. They, they are pretty pricey. I was a little surprised myself. This is on the Solo Woman. I remember that. That was out at uh, Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico. Karen Kaz Jeffrey says, what a lovely caravan. Caravan in, in Europe is an RV. One of my favorites. Great decoration. Thanks, Rusty. You're welcome. This is Margaret Madrovsky. Hello, Margaret Madrovsky. I love Slim. I wonder how he got his name. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, that was on the A-Liner Classic. Slim Potato Head, who does uh, camping, traveling, RV stuff, <coughs> lives in a A-Liner. And boy, he's got it rigged up for camping, I promise you. Uh, Linda Lay in LAI. It's so flat and dreary there. That's I don't know where that was. Natural something. Mr. CJ Cav 64, Rusty, what do you do? We'll do what we do. Oh, you do what you do, and we do, we'll do what we do. That's correct. Correct them. David Yeager, uh, we all read the news also. Go get a job. You know, David, we're going to put you on the lid. I, I think that was a little left handed uh, swipe. That's okay. We'll get you next time. Back road freedom, a little small, but not bad. That's on the A-liner. Thanks for sharing, Rusty. I'm really enjoying the videos you are making out of the RV show. Have a wonderful day, my friend. You too. T.T. Willow. That's a catchy name there, T.T. Willow. Uh, happy birthday. That was at Eagle's Nest. Thank your mo <laughs> Anyway, T.T. Willow also says, pee like a racehorse. I say that every now and then. Do you know that the first, second, and third place horses go to what's called the spit box after the race. There they are cooled down, walked, watered, hosed off, and taken to a stall to pee. The track man has a cut. Oh, they, they t drug test them. Okay, I guess. Billy Johnson, I'll never buy a pickup without an extra cab for so many reasons. Rusty, well, you do what you do, Billy. T.T. Uh, T. Willow, happy birthday. What, what is this happy birthday stuff? She must have been watching some of my old video. Yeah, this was on Taos, New Mexico. I was down on the square and I uh, did a video of some people or just walking around. T.T. Uh, T. Willow says, where I'm from, people wave from their porch while you drive by. Your neighbor plows out everyone's driveways and sidewalks more than just, hi, how you doing? That's uh, wonderful. Uh, Dale Pointer, wish you and Slim could meet make a vid and exchange ideas he is the nature kid and you are the rv kid enjoy both of your vids yeah uh, he, he, he's just in a different area of the united states well he's back in canada now probably that's where he's from eric moore hi rusty i have a 2020 a liner exactly like the red one except mine is blue it's exactly like it but it's blue okay i got you i love it my title says it weighs 2,000 pounds i just i have the hard dormers just like the one you looked at probably without dormers at 1600 pounds i don't know i just looked on their website it said 1600 pounds and i went with it uh scotty thompson cool video talk rusty lol a liner classic rb 2020 i'm sure that it has a tv or I'm sure it does uh some expensive i'm sure people will get the rv for watching the tv yeah i'm sure they will that's why they'll buy it they'll just buy it and sit there and watch tv i don't know why i didn't think of that scotty Linda Lay again, happiness is an inside job and a lot of us could never find peace and contentment living in an RV or trailer. Uh, you, you can, a lot of people do what they do, babe. Thank you. Uh, Scotty Thompson, he got a long comment here. For, for, he didn't do, leave many long comments, but he left one here. I'll read part of it. I did a good, I did good on my bowling league team yesterday, Rusty, on Thursday night, October the 3rd. My first bowling score was, was okay, bad. Uh, 109 my second bowling score was a great 209 well that's a big turn and my third score was 157 ended up with 475 my bowling team and my bowling team bowling league team handicap was 3358 and we won the second and third bowling games but lost the first game we did not win our bowling league team games even though even thought we won second but anyway thank you Scotty enjoy your bowling Scotty Thomas says cool comment called blazing blade says uh, on the A-liner says those folks are the opposite of Jayco. Keep raising prices on what they think is a superior product, but it's really not. 
Okay. Uh, anyway, Linda Lay again, my husband, daughter, and I always had eight to five jobs and I don't get the criticism. Uh, we, we run America. It's like criticizing farmers for growing our food. Oh, oh you have to to be a nomad, not me. What, well, whatever you know. I mean, I, 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 that was an old video. I ain't much telling what I said. Uh, let's go with crane operator. Flo it says, it says I enjoyed the old videos. Also, starting with Texas one through three, you grew up like the mail call ones. Also, you didn't, you don't forget to cover, you don't forget to cover you pets eye. Oh, when you zit, yeah, don't forget to cover the pets eyes when I thither. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I watch a lot of your videos on my TV with Roku. The bad thing by doing it that way, I don't know how to like or comment on them. But I haven't left still here. Okay, well good. Have a good one. Thank you, crane operator. My Venus Healer, uh, comparing the A-Liner's price and what it does not come with versus something like your Casita with what it does come, come with, I would say the Casita or some similar type to be the value choice. Uh, it's still a nice unit for those that want that kind. You know, they, they're such, if, as you can see from the ones I've done, there, there's a, just a total variety of RV types. And whether you like it or I like it, doesn't matter. I mean, there, there is a market for that unit. Uh, they wouldn't build it. Dale Head, I remember Sheriff John put another candle on your birthday cake. I like that. That was Mr. Green years, Jeans years ago. Yes, a long time. That was on a Sunday drive. I did that a long time, or a few days ago. Uh, Robert Diello, Diello, I guess, uh, D-I-E-L-L-O. Thanks, Rusty. I really enjoy your channel. I know this is somewhat pathetic, but I'm looking for something I can use with a small size pickup, preferably on or in the bed, but possibly a trailer. If you know anything or come across anything, I would appreciate it. You, you sure left the uh, options wide open there. Uh, you know, you're going to have to do what you do, okay? But good luck. Uh, anyway, Dale Head says, uh, Thanks for the old time stories once again, Rusty. I enjoyed that very much. Yes, those were simpler times. Correct. John Gertbach. Hello, John. Slim has one with no window slide outs. I like that. Would like, would want that myself. Simple, yeah, me, me too. Yeah, I like his setup. He's, he's got it nailed. Uh, this is Herd Fan six nine seven two seven eight. Love your channel, Rusty seven eight six zero nine. I bought one of your orange long sleeve T-shirts with logo stand guard at the door of your mind. Boy, how do you set a mouthful there, old buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is another one. But anyway, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you you buying the T-shirt. Two triple J. I need a trailer for my Prius, titanium. Yo, yeah, well, uh, good luck. Sue B, checking back in, checking back in. The third zither caught me off guard and took a while for my eyes to adjust to find my phone again, but wouldn't have missed the fun at mail call. Good night, good night. Steve, Z Steve O, way too much on the A-liner. Nomad for life, great video, and thanks for sharing. Old Slim has a great channel. Yeah, he does, he does. Perdinalis Pete, hey Rusty, you missed the first day of October Fret Fest in Fredericksburg. Not to worry though, it's still going on 10 a.m., 12 midnight, Saturday, all day Sunday, October Fest in Fredericksburg, Texas. That's where it is. Dot, it's it's fbg.com. Yeah, they have it every year. It would make a great Rusty at October Fest video. OMG, think of all the views. Boy, yeah, too. Uh, by the way, I loved your 1950s life in Texas vid. And the ignorance vid, best regards, brother. Thank you, Paternalis. Pete, uh, this is Wayne Johnson. Who's Santa C? I don't know. It's an old video. I can't remember what I did yesterday, more or less what I did two years ago. Tread on this. This is on New Mexico, something I did. Texas has a law that in order to publicly carry a pistol, handgun, whether concealed or open carry, you have to obtain a license to carry also known as LTC, which means license to carry. Also, it does does recognize other LTC licenses from out of state. Anyway, well, thank you, Tread, on this. T.T. Willow says, uh, how do you get the fitted sheets on? Uh, I don't know. In my casita, I don't have any. Uh, 66 block, 
Uh, this is on my, the, I don't know what this is, new, it says new pickup something, this is old videos. So these old videos are starting to pop up, so that means that YouTube's starting to move them around again, which is good. Uh, 66 block, it's only under the glacier for about four months of the year. My scamp had a few screws that were always coming loose. Blue Lucite fixed most of them, but a few kept coming out no matter what like the cover of the furnace on the inside, safe travels. Yeah, you know, I looked at a, a, a scamp, but they're made in Minnesota. That's a long drive, and, and the price is, it's a little lower, a little less than the Casita, but not enough for me to drive Minnesota in the winter and pick it up. Uh, no name, Slim has the traditional A model, probably wasn't as pricey, but I don't know if he bought it in Canada or U.S. Me either. Okay, 66 block. This is on the 2017 Ram 1500. That's the pickup I have right now. It says, hello, Rusty. No, it says, hello, Rusty, from October 2019. As you know, you didn't buy the Scamp 13. I don't think you would have liked it. I have since bought and sold a Scamp 16 foot, too small height wise, at 6 foot tall. Thought I could compromise, couldn't. I look at Casita. Because I looked at casitas and more. Nice on you for that second home base in New Mexico. I'm leaning towards an R pod or similar safe travel. Well, yeah, the R pod's pretty good. I, I've heard some good things and some bad things, but that's life. And this is life after something I did. Uh, revisiting this again, I like your logic. I'm at the same intersection. Tell the Carl's Bad Cavern story again. I'm sorry, but th there for the place. He's going, there. He's going to Carlsbad Cavern. This is T-A-C-C-L, T-A-Z-C-C-L. Hey, Rusty, can you talk about your home bases, like how much land you do you have? I was thinking about doing the same thing you were doing. I don't have a lot of land. I've got three lots, and, uh, you know, uh, it's not, it, it, it's, uh, it's enough, and, uh, you know, that's, it doesn't matter what I have. It matters what you can find and what you can get, you know. Uh, but anyway, thank you. Uh, Gerald Meadows, I started getting the flu shot a couple of years ago and after a particularly bad case of flu. It doesn't hurt much and the flu doesn't hurt, so it makes sense to me. Yeah, the only problem with the, uh, <clears throat> the flu shot is if you'll read about it, in order for you to be immune to, it, it doesn't give you immunity to all the different types of flu viruses. It gives you an immunity to that particular flu virus. And so, you know, to me, uh, I don't plan on doing it. But anyway, that's just me. Hoffman's Landscaping, you're cracking, you're cranking out the videos. I always do. Peggy Parker, so funny, Rusty, love it on mail call. This is T.T. Uh, T. Willow. She said, this is on comment call. I must have sang a song or something. It says, great singing. Do you remember Wake up mr tree we're very glad to see you wake up mr tree it's daytime can't can't you see no i don't i don't really remember that one i'm sure it was a biggie uh anyway sven johnson don't know why to get the flu shot well no i i'm not going to get it i mean but thank you he left a link for, for it so for those of you that are interested check it out sven johnson left a link hoffman's uh landscaping uh, we'll do two more and then we'll end it. This is on the uh, storage building. I love it, but it seems a bit overpriced. Yeah, it is. I mean, but, but you know, they, you can get it finished to any level you want. In the same way with these uh, tiny home uh, park model RV deals that I'm going to be posting over the next few days, you, you can get a base model for 40000 and then you start adding the stuff you want. Uh, but again, do what you want to do. Uh, this is last one. Jay Jones, good-looking, overpriced unit. That was on the A-liner. Good tour. Well, thank you, Jay Jones. But having said that, guys, oh, I forgot to get a joke. Did I, oh, I did get a joke. I did. Hey, Google, tell us a RV joke. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. <laughs> hey, Google, tell us a camping joke. Which playing cards are the best dancers? The king and queen of clubs. I don't know how that fits in. Cute, very cute. Anyway, guys, 
from uh, Central Texas, USA. It is a weekend. This is Saturday morning, about 6.30 now. But anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, get kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is to eat less. Sorry to tell you that. That's hard to do, too. But anyway, having said that, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. Do that several times a day. Why? Because that lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. And then what else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, walk, walk. Exercise your body once or twice a day. It's good for you. You may live healthier a little longer because of it. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head your brain, your frontal lobes, this is all where your consciousness is. So, you know, add good ingredients. Just makes sense, doesn't it? So accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your life. And if you can, enjoy life one moment at a time. That's a biggie. Uh, but having said that, what else can I say? At ease, carry on, adios. Uh, see you. I'll, I'll do a video later today. The first one I'll post around lunchtime will probably be the tiny home park model RV and uh, and then I might do one more RV from the uh, show because I still got about eight or eight or so of them left so anyway guys adios amigos enjoy your weekend bye bye